Published, 12.01 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 18th of June 2018. Updated, 12.01 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 18th of June 2018. The Division is getting a sequel and judging from our first impressions, it should be able to live up to the hype. Division 2 has a new setting of Washington, D.C. The USA has managed to survive the virus outbreak caused by an experiment during Black Friday. However, the country is left in tatters as American citizens fight for themselves. I got to play one of the online co-op levels and thoroughly enjoyed my time doing so. We played the same level twice with the first one being a practice round. It was needed as this is anything but a forgiving game. Scroll down for a video you'll want to squad up with friends for the Division 2 as the levels are surprisingly unforgiving. One thing that stood out very quickly is just how intelligent and relentless the AI are in this game. Make even the slightest mistake and you'll soon find yourself on the floor in need of revival if you don't react quick enough. This is a cover-based shooter but the game never feels slow or sluggish. The enemy are always on the move, continuously looking for flanking routes and new ways to take you down. And the levels are always moving too. During my playthrough, my squad and I traveled through three different areas as we either cleared waves or the AI retreated. It kept the game feeling fresh and meant you always had to be on your toes. The game features very intelligent AI who are always looking for opportunities to flank the level design itself is also phenomenal. The dark, gritty aesthetics help with immersion but it's the way these areas play which really deserve praise. Every area is diverse with a great selection of areas where you can set up, and land feels huge too, with enemies in different heights and every angle it can overwhelming when trying to plan your next move. That's why coordinating with your team is so important, you need to have each other's backs. Obviously, I was playing with three strangers so that level of coordination wasn't there and that's perhaps why the levels felt so difficult. You can of course, complete the levels without much coordination and the special weapons certainly help with that. The level design is fantastic, the areas feature excellent verticality and are always evolving you can move your character into one of four classes which decide what weapons they use and how they'll play. These also give you access to special and signature weapons which in my case were an explosive crossbow and a gun which fired a cloud of flammable gas into a chosen area. The weapons really felt impactful and I was particularly fond of the gas weapon as once again it encouraged teamwork. When faced with a juggernaut laying down purple smoke and seeing my entire team ignite his armor with gunfire looked and felt it amazing. That was where the multiplayer potential for this game really clicked for me. You choose one of four classes for your character which will decide your special weep sons and it will only get better as Ubisoft have promised to update the game regularly after release. The game will receive three Destiny S grades as free DLC during the game's first year. Each raid will be for up to 8 players and will undoubtedly feature incredibly difficult missions and boss battles but Ubisoft are yet to release any more details. Either way, The Division 2 is showing a lot of promise. If you're looking for a new online co-op game or just a gritty, challenging yet fun cover shooter then you'll definitely want to pick this up when it launches March 15, 2019. Until then, you can pre-order Division 2 at game.